What's going on guys, it's Victory, and today we have something a little different than what we're used to. I'm still a little late, I did miss the DC fandom a couple days ago because I was out of town, I was in Vegas, um, back home, visiting family, so I could just, you know, get a little adjustment before the school year starts. But, this here is the Batman trailer, the official trailer, that was released at the DC fandom. Now, I love Batman, I love, he's my favorite superhero in the DC universe, I love DC Comics. I've read a lot about surrounding a lot of the plots. I am I got a little lost around the time that uh, Rebirth started, but other than that, I, I know a good amount of the universe. So naturally, other than video games, one of my favorite things is seeing these superhero movies. Uh, I love Marvel movies, obviously, but the DC movies have been a little lackluster um, since the Christian Bale Batman movies. I didn't like the third one, surprisingly. I like the first two. I love Batman movies. And I've been following the like the Twitter like timeline and just like you know teaser pictures and stuff like that for this the Batman movie uh, with Robert Pattinson as Batman. And now finally the trailer is out for us to see. I have a lot of hopes for this for this trailer. I have a lot of hopes for this movie. I'm hoping that we shy away from the origin story of Batman and we do a little more diving in. You know I hope we get more you know villains to choose from something new something exciting. Um, I heard somewhere along the line on Twitter that it was supposed to be more of Mask of the Phantasm, like time of Batman, so like a little bit early on in his uh, in his journey, which if so, I'm super excited for that because that means, I think it's supposed to be a trilogy series, I think that there is a lot of room to work there. And if we introduce the right villains first, maybe it'll, it'll this, this has the chance to take the top spot. But that's enough rambling on for me. Let's go ahead and hop in and see what we have in store for us. All right, Warner Brothers. Ooh, okay. Sounds like Velcro or duct tape. It's duct tape. Okay, so this is a this is a, a dude with a duct tape all over his face. Kind of looks like an invisible man almost. No more lies. Okay. From your secret friend. Oh, this is getting copyrighted for sure. But I guess that's supposed to be Commissioner Gordon. He he looks he looks the part. He does a good job. The mustache is on point. Oh, that looks like the bat suit. It's got full boots, like actual boots on it. Let's play a game, just me and you. Ooh, okay. Is that a, like, it looks like it's a Riddler card. Just me. What does, I think this is liar, because no more lies. What is a liar when dead? What is a, what does a liar when you? Dead. Liar when dead. Any of this mean anything? Ooh, and then there was an article for the Moroni drug bust to the Batman. There we go. Okay, so that's that's a shot of the bat suit. Interesting. Okay, so I'm noticing a few things right off the bat. First of all, the cowl is really rounded on the top, which I honestly don't think is that bad. I can't tell if the ears are as long as I'd like them to be because of this shot, and I don't want to move forward without, you know, touching on the main thing that I'm noticing. First of all, the suit itself looks like it's really good. It looks like it's a suit of armor that can move, so it, it kind of fits the, the style. The logo in the suit is what's drawing my attention here. It kind of looks like almost as if it's something he can remove. Uh, and also, based on what it's made out of, it kind of looks like, and I've seen this on Twitter, it's believed that it's the, uh, you know, Joe Chill's gun, the gun that killed his parents, like he did in, like, one of the comics. If so, I think that's super cool. Th this suit already looks good, except for, like, you know, the roundness of the cowl, but, I, you know, I'm willing to overlook it. Okay, there's the ears. I can see the ears now. Alright, who's this guy? Who's that guy? You'll be coming quite seriously. Ooh. Okay, so this looks like the little wheel into the, you know, the start of the bat, the, the bat cave. It almost doesn't look like it's underground. It kind of just looks like a foyer, like a foyer in his like mansion almost. Um, but it's you know that's a smooth shot. It looks nice. Okay, so this is him as Bruce Wayne. You know, what? honestly, he kind of looks like he can pull off a young Bruce Wayne, like a really young Bruce Wayne. 
Um, I don't know about, you know, older as he gets older, he's going to have to change something up. But that haircut definitely looks like it fits the part. Why is he writing to you? OK. So it looks like Riddler is going to be our main villain for this movie, which I think is awesome. Riddler's always been a really good villain um, to me, at least. I've always thought he was cool, except in Gotham. Yeah, I, I really didn't like Gotham. Oh, OK, I think that was a shot at Catwoman. All right, so she's in this movie, too. If you... And is that is that the penguin? Is that sp I, I know they're supposed to be. I know I remember hearing about like Jonah Hill playing penguin or something, and I think it fell out. But I guess the penguins in this movie as well. I really hope that they don't like overstep and dip into too many pools at once. Uh, with too many villains. I hope there's enough space to, you know, to cover it all and it doesn't feel rushed. But that looks like it's supposed to be the penguin. You know, he kind of he looks like he fits the part. Like it looks he looks pretty good if you give him the top half of the monocle or whatever. He kind of he looks like he can do a real good job. You are justice. Please do not lie. Okay. What is the price for your blind eye? What is the price for your blind eye? What is okay, so there's the a fight with Catwoman. Blind... And it kind of looks like he's... Okay, so that was the guy that was exploding. So the Riddler's this yeah. duct tape dude? That's an interesting costume choice. I guess it might be the start of him becoming a villain. You know, it doesn't look too bad. Who is this? How are you supposed to be? Oh, I guess it's supposed to be a, just a random thought. Oh. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Ah, oh, that's exactly the amount of brutality I was hoping for. I'm vengeance. Ooh. Oh, and there's a shot of the Batmobile, too. Okay, before I move on forward anymore, I, I promise I won't pause it as much anymore. I am so glad they didn't decide to mess with the voice or make him put on some stupid Christian Bale growl voice. That cold line delivery, that cold voiced line delivery is instantly better than any other delivery especially the batman v superman like vocoded voice oh that that is i'm so glad that they did that i hope it stays that way i'm vengeance okay and then this is the batmobile okay it kind of just looks like an old hot rod really but i'm hoping they do something with that later The Batman. You're a part of this too. How hmm. am I part of this? You'll see. Oh, okay, so it's him with the eye makeup. You know what? That makes total sense. I didn't even think about that. Kind of looks a little winter soldiery, funnily enough. But you know what? I really think he can pull this off. I think he has a great chance here. question mark zero question mark so 2021 is when it comes out that is amazing now obviously uh, there's still not much that's known about like the like the overarching plot this here what i've seen from what i've seen is there are a lot of villains to work with which means there's either a lot of time in this movie or there's very little dedicated to each villain or, you know, maybe we're just seeing the start of each villain, you know, so that they're, they're building they're building tension for later. I really hope their plan is not to introduce every villain in the first two movies, you know, little by little, and then suddenly team them up in the third movie for like a big showdown or something like that, because that would be absolutely obnoxious and I would hate it. I also hope that they don't touch the Joker at all in this trilogy. They just kind of deal with what they're working with. Maybe introduce Mr. Freeze is the only other villain I would like to see on screen. But from what I've seen here today, I am very, my state, my, sorry, my expectations were decently high. I always expect highly of people doing new Batman, like, you know, adaptations. However, this surpassed my expectations a lot. I think that what I've seen already is way, way, way better than what I would have expected to see before. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little concerned about, you know, just the size of the amount of people they're putting into this movie. But I guess I won't know until I go see it, and I will definitely go see it in theaters when it comes out for sure, 
And when I do, uh, you know, maybe I'll review it on the channel or I'll talk about it a little bit. All you gotta do is ask nicely, you know? Um, or I'll talk about it live on twitch.tv slash victory uh, TGH. But, you know, as always. But without further ado, that's enough rambling for me. That was the Batman trailer from the DC Fandome. Uh, and I have been Victory. So, uh, I will see you guys very soon. Toxin screen down. One enemy remaining. My own. Yo, from C, from C. Don't peek that, don't peek it, don't peek it. Let's get Switching sides. There Match we go. Point. See? That's what I'm talking about. Alright.